So, some more fun Summer League match-ups, matches, okay. <laughs> As we had the number 5 pick, take on the number 6 pick in Osar Thompson for the Pistons and Anthony Black for the Magic, respectively. And there were also many players we will see in the league on these teams next year. Jaden Ivey, Marcus Sasser, Jalen Duran, Jeff Howard... And two Warriors legends, NBA champions, James Wiseman and Quindary Weatherspoon, my guys. And let's talk about this game and these young players we'll see in the league next year. And some first impressions. Osar Thompson, as much as his brother, a all-around all -around player with a really good feel. And he has a little prettier looking shot. Still a huge question mark, but you know... The shot looks better, in my opinion, and he showed, showcased once again his connector type player he will be, and some impressive passing, pushing the pace, uh, vision, he had some really good vision overall with his passing, of course, today, while also being a dog defensively, both brothers look just like really good defensive players, and I also like the pace pushing with the rebounding, and just his overall, once again, poise, and IQ and both these guys grew up on the trivia guys and on YouTube and they seem really well you know versed within the NBA verse <laughs> and uh, it's awesome I really like both these twins I talked about it already yesterday with Amen and the only problem was that he only got four shot attempts and some of it was him not being aggressive enough but mostly it was due to Jaden Ivy just playing a little too selfishly and out of pocket, especially for what he did in the second half of his rookie season last year. Uh, Jaden Ivey was just playing a little too cool for school. And he took some really bad shot attempts, wasn't passing nearly enough, turned the ball over a lot with some over dribbling and some just passes that were not there, forcing it way too much. I'm not sure if he was wanting to just, you know, show, show out in Vegas or be, 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 before his new head coach in Monte Williams or whatever the case may be, he was not great and, you know, it was weird. It was really weird. It was just a weird performance from Jaden Ivey and I was not a huge fan early on, but he really did impress me, especially during the second half of the season, last season, last year. So I'm really just kinda all over the place with Jaden Ivey, but I see a really good basketball player in there. He just needs to put the, uh, put it together consistently and have the right mindset because sometimes he just gets maybe way too in his head, way too over himself. I'm not sure. I don't want to, you know, put some labels on him when I don't know the guy, obviously, but it really, you know, from watching, it felt like he was just trying to do too much, which, hey, I guess that's better than just not trying to do anything, right? Uh, this can be much easier easier to fix, I suppose. Uh, then you also had my boy, Jay Weiss, James Weissman. He looked great out there. Some good rebounding, some really good, uh, you know, flash around the rim, some good cutting, especially he was standing in the corner a lot. Also, they allowed him to take those corner three-pointers. He made at least one of those. And, you know, he needs these reps, even though it's like his fourth or third year in the league since he barely played any, you know, games in, since college. It's like 82 games in those four years, which is just not much. And he looked better. Better hands. The hands are a huge question mark with him. I'm not sure if they are ever going to be great, but they are for sure could be usable at least. The timing looks better. The positioning looks better. And I just like what they did with him. And if you allow Isaiah Stewart to take those shots, why not allow James Wiseman to take these corner three-pointers, right? I'm not a believer in his shot overall. But, like I said, it has some solid, you know, feel to it at least. And, as I mentioned, Isaiah Stewart can take threes in the NBA, so sure, James Wiseman can too. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, Marcus Sasser, also the number 25 pick this season. Um, he looked really solid offensively, popped out on my screen. Smooth jumper early on especially, then kind of faded away, but I liked the brief things I saw offensively. And Jill and Durant was solid enough, uh, tried to do a little more ball handling, which is probably what they want him to do, especially pushing the break with, you know, his rebounding prowess. And he did have his a little too cool for school moments, but he also had some really great moments. Showcased some type of jumper that looked actually goddamn solid to me. October hit a corner three-pointer, hit some... I'm not sure what that was, it was like a sidestep fadeaway mid-range shot. And... 
Uh, that would be huge if he could just make some mid-range jumpers or maybe even a corner three-pointer from every once in a while. And of course, we already know how great of a rebounder he is. He showcased that once again here. And I can't wait to see this Piston team with Kate leading them and Monte coaching them. I think they will be a lot of fun, man. And I am a huge Kate Cunningham guy. So I can't wait to see them uh, this season, man. I think the Pistons could be a lot of fun. Uh, on Orlando's side, this team will also be a lot of fun next season with all these guys they have. Anthony Black, the number six pick. I hope I'm not saying it wrong. I hope he's not number seven, but I'm pretty sure he was number six. Yeah, number seven, I'm pretty sure it was Jerry's Walker and then it was Koulibaly for Washington. Yeah, uh, Anthony Black, team player, really good feel for the game from what I'm seeing. Uh, even though he has a little questionable jumper, uh, the form looks solid to me. And Orlando is overall just building a big team with a lot of all around two, six, six foot eight plus guys, which is just incredibly dangerous. And he did it all kinda eventually. He even showcased some solid jump jump shooting ability. He had nice drives, solid passing, good rebounding, solid defense. So I was very impressed with my full Anthony Black first game. And you know, I like it. Hey, this Orlando team is gonna be really good, man. They will have all guys that can pass, they can, you know, play off of each other. They are all pretty solid cutters. He showcased some really good cutting tonight with some really good finishing around the rim and touch. And it just feels like Orlando is building a really intelligent basketball team, which is great to see. And he also had Jed Howard out there. He looked okay -ish. offensively, popped out from time to time. It was similar to Marcus Sasser, and I'm pretty sure Jed Howard is like an 11th pick this season, maybe a 12th pick. But, um, you know, he got to his spots fairly easily. The handle looks really good. He has a dangerous jumper. It was not like I was impressed with him, just as Marcus Sasser might be something to do with the pick, might be with me, con you know, concentrating way more on the other guys. So I'll make sure to be more concentrated on Jed Howard these next few games he plays. And uh, he could be a really solid scorer off rip, I think, in the NBA. And somebody pointed it out on the on Twitter. Uh, who was it? Uh, beyond the RK, he is a scout for, and he does scout and film study for Orlando. He, and he said that he could uh, fit a similar role that Terrence Ross did in Orlando, which is some pull-ups from mid-range, some off-ball tiger screens, and of course catch and shoot, catch and shoot trees. So yeah, I actually like that analysis a lot. Shout out to the guy, and uh, I agree with it. We'll see how great the shot is, but it looks really good. And he is also a um, coach's kid. And that always works, man. The, those guys usually have great work ethics and character. So shout out to him. And I'm actually more excited, you know, just by, uh, you know, I wasn't as excited when I was watching him in the game, but, you know, rewatching it, going into it a little more deeper. I'm, I'm a, I'm, I might be a fan, but it might be with me just loving these young teams, what they are doing. I literally like what both these teams, you know, have, uh, especially core wise. And I'm excited for both of these teams next season, man. Those, these, these teams are really fun. And we need teams like this more, right? If you are really rebuilding, have all these young guys and, you know, it, it's just much nicer to, and much easier to root for these young guys when it's truly just um, embracing the young guys, not just, you know, hey, we have to do both things at once. So I hope you understand what I'm saying here. Maybe not. It might just be me overall being just happy to see guys do well man i don't know man i just i just love it i just love it uh <laughs> i just love seeing people happy and do well i suppose <laughs> could be a controversial thing these days <laughs> uh, nah, I'm, I'm messing with you all you already know that's not a controversial thing um yeah so shout out Jovan harris also he was hooping out there i mean he's 26 so he should be hooping out there right haha <laughs> i'm hating um he, I'm pretty sure, played a lot of games with Orlando already throughout his last two years, I'm pretty sure. So he showed out, out, out there. He wants his roster spot somewhere. And on the Pistons side, also shout out to Buddy Boheim on one of these lower profile guys. He was shooting really well out there. 3-4-3 three, three tonight. And yeah, he has a good shot, even though he struggled last year with his shot uh, when he got his you know chances. So we'll see what that is about and thank you all for watching i'll do in the against washington also and might pop in some other things in there we'll see